everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm, I'm Letty, this is Letty Sparkle, and today's video I'm going to be testing out the new Makeup Revolution, I'll get them out, Makeup Revolution, or Revolution Beauty, sorry, um, Conceal and Hydrate, Radiance Foundation with Hyaluron, can never say that word, Hyaluronic Acid, medium to full coverage. So this is the foundation. So it's, um, Apparently it's got to be, it's got the same sort of formula as the Conceal and Define foundation, but it's a lot more hydrating than that one. So I think people wanted that with hydration. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. I have already primed my face, and I've used my current favorite primer, which is the Avant um, Pro Collagen Primer, Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer. Um, I love that primer, it's very expensive. So I'm super excited to try this out today. I probably will do a wear test and I'll probably post it on Monday because I want to post, oh look. Is it meant to be, oh it's a pump one, that's why. I was like, why is it like this? <laughs> it's a pump, I remembered it's a pump. That was a bit just stupid. So I've got um, a sponge, it's already been dampened. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand like I normally would. Let's see, it's new, so. I hope the shade's okay, so this is a 10.2. I don't know if you can see that, 10.2. On the other, they said that all the shades match their, their other foundations, but when I was looking at the foundations, so I'm just gonna get it bright, bring it a bit closer. When I was looking at the foundations online, I couldn't find the 10.5, which is what I have at the moment, so I hope that this is okay. That looks quite good. No, it says medium to full coverage, I presume it's buildable. I'm going to take it down my neck. And they've also released a, um, a powder, but I couldn't get hold of it unfortunately, so I will get that as well. Because they basically released it early on Superdrug, um, and that's why I got this one. So, but the powder wasn't available for drugs, so I haven't got it. But now with the other one, when I first used it, I didn't really like it actually. Um, and then I used it again not long ago actually, probably two to three videos ago. Um, and I really, really liked it. So I was really, really surprised but I liked it. So this one's meant to be a bit more hydrating and I think the reason I didn't like the other one originally was because with whatever primer I used that day it was very, very cakey and stuff. But I actually like this coverage. I mean, I've put a little tiny bit more, but it's kind of covered up my moles there. You can still see them, like, just very slightly. And actually the colour is pretty good. I mean, let me just lower the brightness. The colour is pretty good. So, I'll um, so you can actually see what's going on. Okay, so. So that's good. And then I'm gonna use my concealer. Well, oh, I like that, I like that it's in a pump as well. Uh, concealer is in shade C8, which is actually the same shade I have normally on the other one. Uh, let's just open this one. Elsie's actually sat here with me. She's um, watching me. I think it's really good. Mm, looks good, it? Then I'm going to open my glossy box after this. So that glossy no box will be up first. It'll be up today. I have no idea what it's going to look like because Mummy says that it's a like glossy box's birthday today. So glossy box, if you're watching this, happy birthday. It's not their birthday today. It's their birthday month. Oh, happy so. birthday month. Wait, what? So, with my concealer, I tend to always tell. I that's think I've used a little bit too much. Concealer. Conceal and hydrate. Oh, that's the name concealer. of the foundation. Concealer. I think I've actually used maybe a little bit too much concealer. Let's see. No, I think it looks good. Are you going to like put some like, eyeshadow on it and some lipstick? Yeah, I'll just do a very quick. I was to really test it out, my favourite powder at the moment is the Laura Mercy one, so I am going to set my under eyes especially with this. I'm not going to bake or anything. 
I'm just gonna go just under my eye. Just to kind of set that in place to stop it from creasing. But it looks good, like it looks really good. Let's just bring you in a bit closer. Like it's not really, I'm gonna just set my um, over here because it's not, it's a bit more liquidy than the other one. I'm just gonna set this as well with translucent powder. But yeah, I quite like how that, that looks. So it doesn't really look, it looks quite good I think, like it's creased but I mean I have natural creases under my eyes so it's never going to be like non-creased. But I actually think I, I like how that looks like on my nose and stuff, it's not like cakey or anything, like around my nose. Can you see? Well, that's good. So I might set my entire face actually, just because I want to make sure that it's or it's slightly more hydrating, it's not as matte as the other one. Let me just bring them out. I've got some in my eye. So actually I'm going to use a couple of, not many new products, but I'm just going to finish getting ready. I'm going to do, I'm going to put the rest of my face on because I've only got a new mascara tees which I want to use on video which I got my glossy box a couple of weeks ago. So I'll go and put that on. I'll go and tip my eyes. Um, I'm just going to do my eyes quickly. Do my contour, bronzing, blushes, stuff. I'll be right back. So guys, I've done my makeup. So I've done. I've actually used this highlighting palette from Primark. It's a Lion King one, and it's so, it's really hard to open. Oh. Hi. Can you it's like yeah, like mummy was saying, it's really hard to open. Oh, oh my goodness! I remember what this it program. looks like. Um, like that. And I actually used this shade as a highlighter, and then this shade on my eyes. So I'll wait until that show comes back. Can I show this one? Yep, and I use this, this as a bronzer. It's, a bronzer. it's really, really old. I probably should check it away. Yeah, I used to call it the chocolate and then bronzer. This palette to I use this shade to contour, and this a little bit this one. So, um, oh sorry. So yes, and then for my lips, I use my Huda Beauty. Um, this is Fleur and Venus um, Lip Quid Lipstick and Lip Liner. Um, and I'm going to use this. I'm just going to do this on camera because I wanted to test out this mascara on camera. And I thought what a great video to do it on. So this is the Manakadar Bloom Mascara in Jet Black Step Three Perfect. So it's got a really funky tube. <laughs> and let's try and see how that works. I'm just gonna bring you in a bit closer. Ooh, look at that. It's really nice. I don't. I was a bit like worried about the wand because it's a bit weirdly shaped. Oh, yeah, I am really. But actually, maybe because it's got more like. Let me get up. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to do this eye. It's really nice and it's not clumpy at all. I mean, they're quite like a clumpy lash, I'm not going to lie. But for like everyday life, I like this. I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. So if you mind me while I just do this. Yeah, it's like blowing a hooli outside. It's really, really raining. So I'm gonna do a wear test because I'm gonna post this on Monday. Today is Friday. It's now 2.11 p.m. So I'm going to have this on for the rest of the day. Um, and then, ooh. And then I'll come back, and I'll come back tonight and let you know how I got on. I'm just gonna clear up my mascara and stuff. Bring it back a bit more. And then we're going to film now my glossy box unboxing. Yeah, because we've, got, very cause excited we've about. got a busy day today because I go swimming lessons and it's Cody's first ever time doing swimming lessons. Yes, Cody's going to start swimming lessons. Yeah, so. but Cody's going to probably be doing it more than me because he started in my cats, which is stage one, and I started in yellow half, which is stage three. So. 
Okay, so that's the um, mascara done. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Love, 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 love. So I really like the foundation. It looks really good. Oh, plus with the Morphe spray, I haven't used it yet. So I got the Morphe spray with, I got my um, Morphe 35B uh, palette. And I got the Morphe spray, so I'll use that again Fresh today. Spray on so just a few first impressions. No, no. So this is, a, this is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist Spray. Um, it looks like this. I need to get a shot, honey. I think so. And then, so I've never used this before, so we'll see how it goes. So <laughs> here we go. Oh wow! It is like the finest mist. I see what everyone all talks about now. Can you on you? Oh, it feels wet. So I really like the foundation. I love the mascara. The mascara is so nice. Oh yeah, I love it. So what? I'll pop. I don't know how much this is. Um, I think from what I remember from last week, from last month's Fossey box, it's about um, twenty-ish pound. I'll Maybe it link it all down below. I have so I'll, I'll link it all down below. And yes, yeah, so and the mist, I really like how actually it felt. It was very, very fine. It's, it's twenty three. Not oh, twenty three pounds of mascara. So thank you, Elsie. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's um, my makeup done for now. I'm just gonna go and fill my glossy box, and then I'll come back later on to show you how it's all going on, what's happening with it, and I'll see you. I'll see you shortly. Hi everyone, and welcome back. So I've just come back, and it's now. Uh, nearly quarter to 11 at night so I have been I've had the sun since about two so for about eight hours or so so um what do I think of it I mean it looks so I'm gonna bring it a bit, a bit closer so you can see the only bit that really I'm like concerned about is let me just bring this down so the only bit I'm really concerned about is this bit here like on my lip area I don't know if you can see that but it's just kind of gone all like I've never really had that before just here maybe a little bit on that side as well but and my under eyes it's got quite bad creasing and stuff it's kind of settled into these lines here a little bit um, but not on my like forehead or anything my forehead isn't that bad um, and to be fair I did go to I did take the kids swimming so I have been in a warm environment so I was very very hot so and I'm very very dewy like I don't normally get oily skin or anything I have very normal skin um, if it's anything it'll be a little bit on the dry side towards the winter but at the moment it's just normal um, but yeah so it's from far away like if you look at now it looks okay as an eventual it's only when you look up close and I didn't actually realise how bad my creasing under my eye was and I think to be honest I probably used a bit too much even when I did it I kind of knew already I'd used too much so I might do it again with, and use a little bit less obviously with foundations which I learned with the Concern Define is that on my first impressions I didn't really like it and then I used it again not long ago and I quite liked in how it looks so I think sometimes first impressions can mean anything I mean I use my favourite primer at the moment so I might try it with a different primer and then I want to get the powder as well so I used it with the Laura Mercier powder um, today and I pretty much set my whole face which to be fair I don't do normally so I don't know if this area here is because of that because I don't normally actually powder I normally only set my under eyes and I leave the rest of my skin um, unpowdered just because I like a dewy look but then this foundation is already probably that's my highlight from primer but this foundation is already quite dewy as it is so I don't know um, I don't know how I feel about it completely um, I like it but then I don't think I think for a kind of like everyday foundation if you're just going down to you know if you're just working or whatever I think it's okay it's not bad and for £9 it's not too bad um, you get 23 millimeters in this one let me just see how much you get like in a so I've got a few others so I've got the Concern Define normal one that's 23 millimeters as well yeah and then I've got my wet and wild one which is like five pound this one you get 30 mils okay 30 mils the born this way one you get 30 mils 
um, and then Makeup Forever HD foundation, you get 30 mils. So 23 mils is a little bit lower than most of them actually. Um, and it's nine pound. So I d to be fair, I still think it is affordable. Um, I don't know which one I like more, whether this one is undefined. So I think I'm just gonna do half and half. Half with Cassandified and half with the this one with the con conceal and hydrate <laughs> um, foundation. The concealer, I do think straight off the bat, um, I do prefer the concealer defined one. I have used that one for a while. Then I'm going to try this again without using as much as I did. I'll probably use it tomorrow. I'll update the description box with what I think of it. Um, but yeah, in general, and I love the fact that it comes in a pump to be honest, I prefer a pump to the Dofa. At least for foundation, for concealer I love it of application, but for foundation I do prefer this, as it is now. Um, but yeah, so I'm sorry it's not a, like, uh, a great review, it's not a great first impression. It didn't wow me, that's for sure, and that's what I kind of wanted. When I tried the stick foundation, that wowed me, that's an amazing foundation. Um, but this one's okay, it's, um, I'm going to have to try a few more times to see how I really feel about it. Um, but I wanted to do a first impressions and a wear test just to see how it is. I think it's worn actually quite nicely. I mean I have blown my nose a couple of times. I've got a bit of, I don't even know if it's, it's not cold, but a bit of maybe hay fever, I don't know. A runny nose. I've got a bit of a runny nose and it hasn't come off necessarily a huge amount across it. And it doesn't look red or anything and it doesn't, it has kept all that at bay. Um, so yeah, overall. Yeah, it's, it's okay, I'm not going to change my mind about it at the moment, so I'm going to give it another go and then I'll up the description box. I'll also do a half to half comparison with the other one, just so that I know for myself which one I like the most or whether it's worth it, um, which one's worth buying. I mean, it depends obviously on your skin type as well, I have very normal skin, um, so mine works for both I suppose, um, but when I first tried the Conceal and Define I pretty much straight away didn't like it because it was too cakey. Whereas this one isn't, wasn't cakey on application, I actually quite liked how it looked as soon as it applied. Um, it's only this area here that I noticed when I looked in the mirror um, in the bathroom that I was like, oh what's going on there? And I noticed it was quite noticeable. So that's the only area I was really concerned about. So again, like I said, I might try, I will buy the powder and I'll do another, um, I'll probably just do a get ready with me and use the powder. I've got a few, um, I don't have any new products to use, so I've reused them all. But yeah, so anyway. So yes, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you can see when I upload my future videos. Um, uploads are gonna be a bit all over the place for the next couple of weeks just because it's still summer holidays. So I've got the kids at home with me, so it is harder to film um, when they're home, obviously, because my beauty room is, is separate to the ga to the house. It's in the garage, I've converted it into like a beauty room. Um, and I don't feel comfortable leaving them in the house and coming in here and filming. So um, maybe during the day when they're playing in the garden I could do something, but then I'll probably get interrupted like 20 times, it's just not worth it. But yeah, so bear with me for the next couple of weeks. And then um, Cody starts school in September, so I'll have a bit more free time in between work um, to do more videos. So I really, really can't wait um, for September. I'm looking forward to getting more videos uploaded, to doing more makeup looks and stuff. So. Stay tuned and hopefully you'll enjoy my future videos. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you, bye-bye.